Good morning, tubers. Matt M. Roy back again. Back to you on the 20th of October, 2017. I can't even talk this morning. 2017th. I'm still on my second cup of coffee. And here with me is Mr. Baxter. That's right. He has been extremely clingy today. I don't know why. I'm glad of it. He's been very friendly. But yeah, I mean, I, I think part of it has to do with mom's been cleaning out her closet. So she's been putting a lot of shirts, pants, clothes in general on the bed. And I think he thinks that we are all going to be leaving him. And cats have a sixth sense for that. So when cats think you're going to leave them, they start getting extremely clingy. But yeah, I mean, it's kind of a bonus for us because he's not usually that affectionate. Let's see if I can give you a nice belly rub. No? Oh, come on. He usually likes his belly rubbed. But he's, again, being very friendly. I've been cutting him back a lot. As you can probably see, he has lost quite a bit of weight over the uh, past few weeks. Gotten a little bit thinner. Basically, only feeding him twice a day with the wet food. A can for both of them within one day. I leave the dry food out, but I've been giving him the solid gold dry food, which is a much better quality dry food. doesn't have all those fillers in it, like chicken byproducts, animal byproducts. It has real uh, food. This is actually a holistic food I've been giving him. And cutting him back on his treats. Now, he is not like that very much. Normally, he used to get treats three or four times a day. Now, at most, he gets them twice. Once in the morning and once at night and we're getting this little pooch this little pooch is going to start going away right baxter yeah you need to see that pooch go away i want you to be a healthy kitty i want to actually have a cat that lives more than 10 12 years generally our cats have not lived that long and i think it's down to the type of food that we've been giving them i'd really like to totally cut them out uh cut them cut the wet food out of their diet if that's ever possible um, these two really like their wet food, and uh, I don't know. I give them the stuff I get from Aldi, which is uh, organic, but it's still kind of fatty. Let's face it, all you, unless you buy the really, really expensive wet food from PetSmart, like the Blue Buffalo stuff, stuff that comes in that pack that's in the refrigerated section, you're not giving them the best food. So we're going to work on that. We're going to try to get Mr. Baxter to... Uh, eat less wet food and I think you're going to be a much healthier cat for it. I never noticed until recently that he has got so much orange on his belly. He's got a lot of orange on the belly. He's got a little bit of orange on his face too. But the top of him is mostly silver and gray tiger stripe. Definitely a Bengal cat. You definitely got a lot of Bengal in you and I definitely think you got a lot of bobcat in you. Because if you ever heard this cat meow, he goes like... Not a regular, like, row, row, like a, a Siamese cat. But we love our Baxter. Yes, we do. He's very, very sweet. Still hasn't, he's kind of grown into his ears, but when he was a kitten, he was like all ears. No head, all ears. All right, tubers. Well, I'm going to let him rest a little bit. We'll see what the rest of the day brings. I think we're going to go down to Virginia Beach today. So either that or we're going to do a bike ride because today might just be our rest day because we have been killing it exercise-wise. You follow me on my YouTube channel and on Facebook specifically. So I'm going to pause this vlog, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Say bye, bye. All right, tubers. Let's see what it's like outside. Woo! Really, really nice out right now. About 72 degrees and very low humidity. Go ahead and sit out here for a little bit. I pretty much finished my coffee for the day. I want to tell you guys about something really, really funny that I saw on Fox News this morning. One of their um, contributing um, newscasters, I guess you could say, went out and did a poll. He went to a, uh, a couple different uh, college campuses, one that are known to be um, Democratic supporters. And what he did is he took um, Donald Trump, or in this case, the Trump administration's um, tax plan, the one that they're proposing to Congress now that they're trying to get passed, and he actually took that and he told people about this um, tax plan, but he changed one thing. He said that it was Bernie Sanders' tax plan, and when he told these college students who were mostly left-leaning... They all said it sounded great, you know, like a flat tax to lower the taxes on the, um, the middle class and the rich so they could have some of the trickle-down wealth. And yes, I know some of you guys disagree with me on that, but bear with me here. I'm not making a comment for myself. I'm just saying what they did. Most 80 to 90... Wow, look at this, guys. Check this out. Woo! 
man, I don't even know what that was. Some kind of military helicopter flying really, really low. Hope I guys, hope I got that on camera for you guys. But anyway, getting back to what I was saying, um, about 80% of them said it sounded like a good plan when they thought it was Bernie Sanders' plan. Now, at the end, he went back to them and he said, well, I actually told you kind of a fib. This is the plan, but it's Donald Trump's plan, not Bernie Sanders' plan. And immediately when he said that, everybody stepped back and said, oh, oh, then there's, then there's got to be something wrong with it. See, that's what gets me upset. Now, I've said in the past that I don't usually talk about politics, but I think this is something that needs to be said. I tend to lean more to the right. I am not a registered Republican. I'm not a registered Democrat. I actually, in the past, have voted middle of the road. I've actually voted for a couple of... Um, independence in the past so I have to say that there is a lot of bias right now on the left and you, it, that just proves it right there unfortunately to say that you like a tax plan just because one particular candidate is behind it and then when you when you find out it was another candidate you didn't like to say that it was not good doesn't mean the plan's not good. The plan is exactly the same, no matter if Bernie Sanders voted for it or, or, or initiated it or Donald Trump did. See, that's what gets me. There's a lot of, what's a good word for it? A lot of um, backstabbing going on. And I, I know that's not the right word. It's the only one I can think of at the moment. But we need to do what's best for the American people right now. And if a plan is proposed that is good, that people universally think will help, then that plan should be put forth. It doesn't matter who who uh, initiated it. So that's just my two cents. And like I've said in the past, I know that a lot of you guys will probably disagree with me, and that's fine. You have your right to your own opinions, but we just need to start working together. We need to have a bipartisan um, effort between everybody to get tax reform and health care taken care of. And those are the two main priorities, because until that happens, the only people that are going to suffer pretty much of the middle class and the poor. And you know what? This has been happening for way too long. They need to solve this problem ASAP. Well, I'm going to pause the vlog for a few more minutes. We'll see what the rest they bring. Still trying to decide whether or not we want to go to Virginia Beach or if we want to do the bike riding today. I think it just depends on what the weather's like. It's starting to get a little bit on the warm side, so I'd rather do some shopping today because tomorrow we can actually do a mall walk, and then starting next week it's going to get really cool, so it's going to be perfect for bike weather. So I will catch you guys on the flip side. All right, side. Tuber, so it's been about a week. Let's get a weight update here. Yeah. About 317 and a half, so not really going off as fast as I would like, but again, I'm going to attribute that to uh, muscle buildup. But you know what? That's still about a pound or two down from last time, so I will take it, and I am going to continue to push through this exercise regimen. Mom and I are really starting to look good, and we are continuing to, our, our, I'm, I can't talk right now, continuing to try to get healthy. All right, tubers. a couple of you have been asking me about these uh, computers and these monitors that I've been picking up lately. Um, this is pretty much the monitors I've been getting from this one. Uh, I can't say who it is, but it's basically a business that was downsizing. They're Acer uh, model V203HL. These are 20-inch monitors, LED monitors. And there's some information on them. You guys can uh, pause the video and read that if you want. But basically, they're not even that old. They're from July of 2013. You can see they are LED backlit. And um, they're really decent monitors. If I go under here, you can see you got the um, regular three-prong power, not that weird Mickey Mouse ear ones that um, Gateway used to like to use back in the day. It does have a DVI and a, a VGA input. No HDMI on these, which is fairly common because um, these are from a business environment. And generally in business, they are either going to use DVI or VGA. And from my experience, they usually tend to use uh, the VGA input, whatever what is the cheapest. What are you doing? You back down here? You back down here looking for attention? Every time today that I'm trying to film the vlog, this one gets in the way. He's jumping up, nudging me, scutching me. Just wants lots of attention. I swear, I think it's because he thinks that we're leaving. We will be leaving, but it ain't going to be for another month or so, Baxter. So don't worry. He's always a super sweet, super sensitive cat. So any change around the house, he really starts to feel it in his psyche. Milo, he could care less. Milo amuses himself, but Baxter really needs the human touch. At least my human touch. 
Don't you big All guy. right, tubers. Well, as you can see, Mom and I are in the car together. We're going to the thrift stores. Might be a little bumpy here. They're redoing the roads over here in Norfolk. Just left the uh, Hope House thrift store. Oh, here we go. Boom. <laughs> that was a big one. They didn't really have anything there. It was a shame because I had a $10 gift card and everything, all the electronics are 25% off there today. But they've had the same four computer towers there, I kid you not, for the last three months, and they've only put them down $10. And they're really old ones, too. I mean, they're Dell Optiplex 740s. I think they had one 380 there. So they're the older generation to the 390s that I actually have. So decided to pass on those. I might have bought it if the price was right because a couple of them had 8 gigabytes of memory. I would have been able to use the uh, RAM sticks out of them, but um, didn't work out. They just weren't cheap enough even with my uh, gift certificate and the 25% off. So decided to pass on those. Uh, Mom's doing all right. We had we did eat some Taco Bell today, but we limited ourselves. Mom had the Cantina Bowl. I had two soft Taco Supremes, which I think we figured out That's comes to what and something yeah, about 520 Mine calories. Was about four something, something. So she did a little bit better than me That's by okay. about 30 calories. Yeah, maybe 30 calories. <laughs> Not too much, but I we're, we're doing the, well. I didn't get the black beans, the guacamole, guacamole and the sour cream. Yeah, because she doesn't like either of them. And, of course, you know, guacamole is not that high. The beans aren't, but the sour cream is. That's probably why mine was about 30 calories more. But that's okay. So tonight I'll just have oatmeal or something really, really light. Uh, as you saw before I got on the scale, it said about 317. So I'm going down about a pound at a time. You know, it's slow going, but that's the way you want to lose it. You lose the weight low and slow. Slow. It'll stay off. If you do it too fast, you tend to just bring it back, your weight back up, and usually you'll balloon up even more than you were originally. So, And we were talking about this being um, a whole change of the way we're eating. We're not the diet. We're right. This is not a diet. This is a lifestyle right. change for exactly. us. Absolutely. Well, we're almost, yep, we're almost at the other thrift store. I'm going to pause the vlog, and I'll talk to you guys on the All right, side. tubers. Well, here I am at Best Thrift, and uh, so far I found one USB keyboard. This is just a uh, Dell keyboard, but it does have the little hub I like in the back with the two USB ports. Looks like this one is $10, $1.49, so not a bad price. I'm about to check out some of their uh, cords here. They do have some of these... Um, Oh, I can't think of the name right now. The DMS-59 connectors. The two VGA to the one. So basically hook two monitors up to one card. I have a bunch of these at home, but yeah, $2.99 is a little much. So I'll probably hold off, see if they mark those down over the next few weeks. But I'm going to go ahead and check, see what kind of uh, computers they have. And I'll check back with you guys. Check sure. this out, guys. They have three of these Gigabyte Custom Towers. These are 10 bucks a piece. I opened it up. They supposedly have Core 2 Duos in them. Not sure. Let's see what the memory is here. Pull one of these sticks out. The uh, power supplies are decent too. They're Thermaltake TR2 430s. So actually, what the pr they're asking price is worth it just for the power supply. These are two gigabyte sticks of OCZ. Wow. Yeah, this is definitely coming home with me. So this one's got four gigabytes. The other one does not have any memory, and they're all missing hard drives, but... Man, what a score that'll be. These are pretty sweet looking cases too, and they all seem to have these thermal take uh, TR243. So I have to look that up. I'm not exactly familiar with that particular power supply. But yeah, these are pretty some decent all right, systems. Tubers, so I stuck one of these computers uh, right on this garbage can here just to show you what I got. Once again, these were each $9.99. They're all pretty much the same. This one you see has a dual layer DVD burner in it has a good old floppy drive. I guess somebody needed to access their discs. Core 2 Duo, Key 3 Spirit Thermal Take, and that's because of the power supply that's in. Now, I'll have to look this up later because I'm not exactly sure about um, exactly how good that power supply is. But I know Thermal Take is excellent. Ports get your standard PS2. He got compo uh, composite and uh, digital output so analog digital and digital digital output i know i butchered that i'm sorry it's i'm just kind of really excited at the moment got your legacy port for printers vga you got uh four usbs you got uh ethernet and then of course you got your array of um audio ports but yeah let me pull the side off again real quick show you guys once again the power supply for those of you that are interested it's a thermal take model tr2 
RX 450, so 450 watts. The board looks to be a gigabit, let's see if we can get there, GA965G, so awesome. You got one, two, three, four, you got six SATA ports, you even have an old school uh, IDE port there, and plenty of space for hard drive, so awesome, awesome score. I'll have to see what I want to do with these in the future. Get them home, test them out. This by by the way, is the only one that did not have memory. Each of the other two have uh, two sticks of two gigabytes each, so four gigabytes. Probably what I'll do is I'll stick all four in one, make it eight gigabytes, and actually have four more uh, two gigabyte sticks. So this takes DDR2, so I can make two of these systems with eight gigabytes of RAM. Awesome sauce. Check this out, tubers. I'm here in Dollar Tree off of um, Military Highway. And they have these things. It looks like they're the equivalent of the Mr. Clean Magic Erasers. It says, easily removes crayon and scuff marks. I'm going to pick a couple of these up. Two for a dollar. I mean, you really can't go wrong. They're really getting some interesting things here at Dollar Tree now. They even have some more of these um, duster cloths, which I definitely need. Because even with the um, Oric Air Purifier, my room gets very, very dusty All at All right, times. tubers. So here we are at Petco in Janif Shopping Center. In Norfolk, this guy is Moom Mamu Mamu, something like that. Oh, he's so cute! Hello, you a good cat? You're a pretty cat. Beautiful face. I love the black and white coloring on this one. Oh, you were playing with your little ball, huh? Who do we got down here? This one is for Bet. For Bet. Oh, what a name! We've got some weird names here. Hi, sweetie. Psst, 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 psst. Hello, baby. Oh, yeah, they're definitely looking for attention. Really cute cats. I guess that's it, just the two of them for right now. This guy seems more content just to uh, play with his ball than want to get attention at the moment. You've got pretty eyes. Good kitty, though. Yep. Yeah. Two cats down here. Think adoption first. Ain't that All right, tubers, truth. I'm ending the vlog here for today because we're still in Virginia Beach and my cell phone's really low on battery. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Please continue to like and subscribe. And as always, have a blessed day, everybody.